Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a game in Diamond 2 at around 50 LP and we're on mid lane against a Neko Nico, I don't know how to pronounce that and last game I played with this support, he's really good well, playing a champion that is a female, so she's really good um, and right now we have um, Kiana that doesn't really have a good KDA we have a good jungler, arguably a good ADC, arguably, and we hope to actually win early. Yeah, that settled it. I play with Comet because I really want to win the long range battle. I know if the Neko Nico is good. I will have very big problems in hitting that W E Q combo. By the way, I have a new microphone. I really hope you enjoyed it. You enjoy it without not the past tense. And we're going to break the 50 LP barrier in Diamond 2. We want to go towards the Diamond 1. We have a very good ribbon with high win rate in their team. We need, we need to actually do something about that Riven because Riven plus Leona is going to be brutal and we're really not up for that. We're not going to be able to sustain their huge CC chain with a Riven and we really really want that early dominance as much as possible especially till Neko gets her ult. That was a free comment there. I've actually hit it. Yes, I did. I, I I didn't hit this one. I hit the other one, but that whatever. Now I expect Riven to get fed. I truly do, because as I said, people trying near top laners. I even told our top laner that I will dodge if she feels, not, if she doesn't feel confident. I actually said that very nicely, and she said, "Let's win. We can do this. Something like that." And I really hope going to go according to plan because we wouldn't want to wouldn't want to lose it okay, I think I'm gonna lose that okay good god bless the and I'll switch up oops oh my god well it's a good thing about it though even though I got pumped at least I got the cannon Definitely going. Oh my god, for real, dude. And now uh, there's a first blood for them, probably. Since. Okay, no first blood. Okay, how did the deer mess that one up? He had half map advantage. Okay, you're gonna get camped, careful. I am not even trying to dodge that apparently and I am completely sure that their odor will come mid now so I'm gonna use a biscuit here she has the CS advantage she has like some CS advantage but I want to go here and help help her carry him out if needed Oh, that's a bad word. Okay, I guess the only thing we're going to win maybe if it's if we do a good gang bot. So they swapped. They swapped bases. Now Hecarim, if Hecarim gets caught here, he's certainly going to die. And I missed that cannon that triggered me. I want to push you as fast as possible now. Oh my god. Well, I 
can't do more than that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why did he end? He had a clear path to escape. It was an echo, Jesus Christ. Plus, I set that one up so well. Oh well, at least. Please don't use a queue there. Thank you. People not ruining the lane. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I love this yellow. Earlier though. Oh, that's not earlier. Okay, I, <laughs> I really thought she's gonna troll. I mean, I would maybe if I'm 20 years behind in that context. I am so bad in hitting those CS. Now, Neko plays with teleport and that's a good thing, but is it really in terms of getting the kill? I mean, she will not split push. She will definitely not split push, I want one tower hit on that guy. And... Yeah, she's back. I need to move out of those queues. Still not used. So that champion maybe played once or twice against her. Well, that's a good Israel. Just doing nothing with the flash up. Even though. He was supposed to get the kill there on bot lane, not to int. That's the problem because I can't really count that either. So, what are they doing? Maybe I get a kill here, maybe not. I'm getting so tilted by by our ADC, he's so useless. Why did you even pick Ezreal? You knew, he knew Caitlyn was picked. He knew that. I know all of your schemes and then he entered his death zone. And I'm losing the CS battle because I tried to do some roams and obviously I'm not going to succeed if my bot lane needs. I'm getting pissed because she could just push like this for days and she still probably win. I'm losing so much. That's a perfect ignite going back to mid lane. I don't know what Kiana is doing there. It was obvious that Odir is top side. I did get a shot down though, that, so that's nice. It was so painfully obvious that Odir is top side. Damage. Fuck, too much, okay. <sighs> I need to finish that Morales. She will probably... Why they are still inting? Okay, 
first recall. I'm at level 5, don't get dived here. Just go. Go far away from that tower if needed. I would stay for that 10 seconds, but those 10 seconds matter. Just let them take the tower, Jesus Christ. It's irrelevant at this point. So many plates for them, they are getting so much advantage. Okay, so basically you don't see the chat but I wrote that Ezreal got, you got kills now, let's focus and win. Something that, some uh, up, up beats, something that maybe would motivate. Uh, okay, that was unlucky. I still get the gold, excellent. I'm gonna put the word here. I'll get an echo. Let opt. Okay. I would get boots here, but with flash up, I think it's irrelevant right now. We're gonna int, alright? Okay. Good, 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 good. I think their Udyr takes that, but the good thing is our Hecarim scales vastly, vastly more greatly, great, ah, you understand what I'm trying to say, Hecarim good. goes into in our favor. And I don't know where Riven is. If I were to take a guess, she solos Drake. And I don't really mind that. Because the plate will fall, so maybe I reach another... No, she didn't. I mean, she was in the jungle, probably. Get, get this, get this. Fuck. Hit this. Ezreal is fed, that's the only problem. <laughs> It's not me who's fed, and I do not know if I can trust Ezreal for actually carrying this. But the difference in the mid laners is there. It's visible, it's good. Don't die here, please. is quite useless that was as, that was i was counting on our jungler being the better of the two junglers actually that's what the, okay that's stupid what i was trying to do here and let me recall please i'll be fine Expect that. That was a stupid E. But 
whatever, I'm just gonna... What I need to do, and that I, I'm sure that I need to do, is to not get caught by Riven and by the Slowan, obviously. And I am so grateful that Ezreal went for the... Oops. For the armor build, because they have a Riven, a Kate, and Neko doesn't really strike me as a champion who will unshot our EDC since... Well... Since she needs to have a perfect setup for the combo to work, it's like an Orianna, okay? It's just the ult that needs to hit and then yeah, we win, but if it doesn't... I mean, the IC Trilona kind of gave up. Well, that tower should have died. That tower definitely should have died. That was inting here. A lot of inting. I mean, she should have gone back. I mean, what's the point? We had a free escape. Take this. I, we inted there. We inted, definitely inted. I thought we got the tower. Uh, it's fine. I mean, I feel like they're definitely in team by this point. I'm so happy that Kiana actually plays good. And it's not a random player that has no idea how to play. I mean, she focused. Even though Riven is 3 to yeah, she maybe get out, got outplayed, but she didn't int. Like, that's the only thing I really want, no int. Just get jungle here a bit. I'm not gonna get both too. I have flash for Riven, and as far as I know, she doesn't have alt. I have a word there, and I have alt of my own. Should be fine pushing here this deep. And I see no Riven. Okay, so Riven now. Just in here. Okay. <laughs> die, come on, die. Okay. Uh, that uh, will. I got smited, okay, that was a problem, but that wall actually was amazing. Why did I get boots? I thought I clicked the boots. Don't know. I really don't know, but I'm fine. Against Riven, I think I'll win, unless she has flash rare. That's going to be a certain problem, but in rest, we're going to be relatively fine. Well, oh my god, you're dead, right? Ooh, that wall, I think, saved your life. Because that slow is huge. And we're losing so much here. You know, when you rely on the fact that you can auto escape, you don't really think that there's a long range spell that Udir can cast, and then you see the spite, the blue smite on you, and you're like, oh, okay, right. Freaking right, forgot about that one. But generally, we do fine now, and Israel is very far ahead. I really hope he finishes, he finishes the next item. Okay. Wait, no, don't hint. Well, that's a very worked for us. And there, Caitlyn is top lane for some reason. So that is that. That was a very bad smite there. Someone needs to deal with that. Oh, they are in okay. Seems like going bot paid off eventually. And my team will get kills, will get stuff on it, okay. 
shit there, shit like that. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Get basic, get basic. God, everybody should die, I think that would be worth. We need to keep Caitlyn far away. And me being here actually secures more objectives for our team. Because look, your Caitlyn cannot recall still. And we get also this tower. Well, close to getting it. Really. Ah, uh, that's not cool. Maybe... No shit. Was that a bad engage? That was an amazing engage. <laughs> because we're winning. <laughs> if we wouldn't win, if we wouldn't win, that wouldn't be an amazing engage. <laughs> it was a very good engage though. Uh, I dealt a lot of AoE for Hecarim. Basically, we won because uh, he had time to stack his Conqueror and he had time to drill through them with the damage and such. But I really hate how inefficient can this champion be. These two. Why, why did you why did you do that? Oh my god, can you stop getting... Jesus! That Caitlyn just destroyed you. Jesus Christ. I think that Neko a bit. The good thing is that if even if Caitlyn gets fed, we can just run down on her. <laughs> I have ult. The Karim has lots of damage to. Dude, that's a free one. Just, just be careful. Just be careful. Bug. You see this? You see this? No, we, we are faking it. Well, I guess no longer faking it. Just go take it. Okay, that's that. That's also that. And we're going after that one. Only for B, only for B and the game. I mean, Odir died before he actually did anything, same with your Neko. See? Even though she's maybe fed or she got some movements map around the map, it don't freaking matter. Same as with the Riven. It simply doesn't matter. We're just too far ahead at this point. Ah, really? You flashed on me after you did basically nothing whole game? Thank you. But yeah, that's about it for today's game. I really hope you enjoyed it. It might not have been that educational, but at least you maybe have heard it properly this time with the proper microphone. And I really hope you enjoyed it. This is for today's game, guys. Thank you so much, and I really hope I'm gonna do more of this game and I really want uh, to know what you want to see, what you want to understand from these games and I will try to be more theoretical. When I focus on the gameplay I can shut up at times and I cannot be that much educative. But we'll see in the future. Thank you very much, have a nice day, see you next time, bye. Goodbye guys.